Good morning. My name is Layla Miles, owner of Lovely Hair Studio and a fruit chi educator. And I'm here today to demonstrate how to do a Dominican blowout. I'd like to introduce my model today. Her name is Sherry, and we're going to be doing a Dominican blowout on her. Her hair is about medium length, um, almost shoulder. And what we did to prep her hair today, we shampooed. We did a deep conditioning treatment with Slurm Masquerilla uh, deep conditioning treatment. We did a Slurm 21 leave-in and we did the Chi Keratin Mist Leave-In Conditioner Spray and some lot of body diluted with um, lots of water. So we're gonna start our roller set. The roller set is key in doing a Dominican blowout. First, because of Sherry's length of hair, I'm gonna use um, these purple size rollers. When I get to the middle, to the crown of her head, I'm gonna use uh, the wider diameter gray our first roller is going to roll forward. As you can see, we're pulling the hair at a 90 degree angle, angle toward the front of her hair. And we want to do a lot of tension. You want to pull and roll. You don't want it too tight because when it dries, you know, the hair will expand. So you don't want it too tight. If you do it too tight, you can cause breakage. But you want it just tight enough to where you will get a nice smooth finish after it's dry. Now for her second roll, this is where the indentation comes in. As you can see, I rolled this one forward. I'm gonna take this one and over direct it down past the 90 degree angle. I'm gonna take the roller, smooth it around. As you can see, I'm rolling to make sure I have no slippage gonna get it really tight and we're gonna breathe and that causes the indentation because this hair rolls forward and this roll hair is rolling in the opposite way you don't want to put clips on your from roller to roller because it'll cause you to have longer drying time you want to roll each one separately I know a lot of time for for beginners it's easier to do that because they don't have a uh, proper placement and it's hard for them to get the roller on there nice and smooth and if you're beginning especially if you're practicing on a mannequin it's fine but if you're doing a real client she will not want to be underneath the dryer that long so try to roll it nice to begin with and as you can see look I'm pressing this with my thumbs to make sure that it gets on the roller and we're combing with a small, small tooth comb. I like to use the Cricut carbon combs because it causes no friction and you don't get the static uh, when the hair is dry. And you want to start from the bottom and work your way up to the top. Smooth that hair right around like that. Pull on it. When you get right here, you want to put your thumbs here so that you can push this hair in so that it sits on the roller and it's nice and tight. And we're placing the pin directly in the middle. I do it on both sides to make sure that mines are nice and tight. And when I'm rolling my hair, my own hair, or if you're rolling your own hair, it's easier for me if you're beginning, if you're just starting and you're not really skilled at roller setting, to get the rollers that have the little clip on, like the little clamps on where you don't have to use these because it'll pull the hair around tight and keep it tight and you don't have to worry about placing your pins in the right area and them being loose and you can reinforce it if you want to with the pin after you clamp it and you will know if your partings are too big or too small if you let your roller be your guide as you can see the diam this parting is not bigger than the diameter of this roller you want the, the parting to be smaller if not the same length as the diameter of your roller if it's two if let's say if this was my parting and i hear here and here here that's too much hair for this one roller you want your parting to be in between the diameter of your roller and we're still doing the upward direction just like that sometimes your hair your your hair start to dry out you want to make sure that you uh, 
dampen it a little bit as you roll because you cannot get a really good roller set if the hair is dry. And one thing I don't know if I mentioned, but I want to mention it now, is that I am rolling in an upward direction because that actually pulls the root of the hair from the scalp, the hair that's coming out close to the scalp, down so that when I go to blow it, I don't have to straighten a lot. Especially, Sherry is pretty much um, still newly relaxed. She still has like a fresh relaxer. But if she hadn't had a fresh relaxer, this would be very important that we pull down and roll this way so that this will dry flat. If I rolled the other way and up like this, this would be flat, but this would be all wrinkly and you'd have to do way more blowing, way more round brushing, way more work to get it straight. And we don't want that. So when it starts to get a little dry, I just hit it with a little bit of keratin mist and keep it going. Okay, and now we are finished with Sherry's roller set. And we're going to wrap a hairnet around, especially if you're using um, quick dry dryers. You want to do a hairnet all the time because the air pulls upward. You don't want to have an emergency in the salon. <laughs> so you always want to protect and do a hairnet. Okay, now we have Sherry underneath the dryer drying. So I want to reiterate everything that we did. First, we did a clarifying shampoo with the Clean Start Chi. We followed with Infra Shampoo for moisture. And then we did something outside of the Chi line, which is very, very, very unique to Dominican styling. We did a deep conditioning treatment with Salerm Mascarilla Capillar Deep Conditioning Treatment. We sat underneath the dryer for 10 minutes with a uh, processing cap for that and rinsed very well in lukewarm water. Afterwards, we sprayed Chi Keratin Mist and we did a dime size of the Slurm 21 Leave-In. Great, great stuff if you really want a soft, smooth roller. And set. remove the rollers. Doesn't matter where you start. I start off at the bottom. And as you can see, it's nice and soft, not a lot of lotted body. You, there's no crunchy. They're just nice and firm. Now we're going to start uh, sectioning Sherry's hair for the round brush. Um, one thing that I like to do is I like to do zigzag partings so that after you're finished, you won't see um, the brick lay partings that have been placed in there kind of from the roller setting. We want to space all that apart so it looks nice and smooth. So I start with a rat tail comb, same one that I used to roller set her hair. And we're going to start from the bottom and we're just going to, as you can see, do a zigzag parting like so. These clippies are really good because they grip a lot of hair and they keep it in place. So I love these. Next, I'm going to use something that um, most Dominicans don't use, but it's my own little twisted things. Um, especially living here in the South in Texas and being from Louisiana, um, humidity is death on our hair. So I use uh, this Mazzani HRM Humidity Resistant Mist, and I do it very lightly, especially at the roots, just a little spray over before I start to uh, round brush. Now, as I said earlier, um, when I was explaining the differences between brushes, we're going to be using the Boar Bristle Small Size Chi Turbo Ceramic Round Brush. And what you want to do is you want to start off in little sections, take a section. You wanna, let me move this piece of this cute little curl out of the way. I wanna start um, at the root and I wanna roll the hair down and around and under 
to where it's looking like I'm going to flip it. Okay, turn the dryer on. I'm going to take the dryer and I'm going to go underneath with it to smooth that out. And I'm going to completely roll it. And then I'm going to start working on her root area and the mid shaft. So here we go. Remember to always direct your airflow in the direction of the cuticle because if you don't and you accidentally go at any other angle, it'll cause frizzing and eventually if you're doing this a client's hair like this on a weekly basis or every two weeks, it's going to cause their hair to become damaged with lots of split ends and uh, you'll lose your clients. Okay, what we're doing now is we are creating what the Dominican calls, Dominicans call doobies, which are really actually just really big pin curls. And what we do, we create them by turning on the dryer, the blower. And we start to round it out at the end. Then, right as it starts to cool off, we take our brush, we roll it under, we go in the direction of the curl, creating a pin curl. Bring it up, and we clip it. And then, as we go around everywhere else, I did what we, they call doobies, where we just kind of like create a roll um, so that it'll set the hair so that when you're finished everywhere, it'll lay really nice, nice little curl, and it'll be really pretty. We're gonna spray her one more time. Extra shine, nothing is wrong with shine. Farouk Systems shines are uh, non-greasy, and they don't cause any buildup. And we're just gonna hit her all over with just a little humidity blocker, because it's a bit of a rainy day today, and I know it's pretty moist. So I'm gonna start on this side, removing doobies or pin curls I'm gonna use a wide tooth comb to comb her hair out and as you can see I'm just gonna brush backwards and spray a little bit more shine And she has lots of body, lots of shine, very sleek, very straight. Now, if you have a client whose hair is natural or who is not as freshly relaxed as Sherry was, you can take a little bitty flat iron and hit up the little edges because you don't want to do that with the round brush because you will burn them, most definitely. So you just want to hit up those little edges. As you can see, we have a little few little flyaways. You can fix that with a little bit of the humidity blocker. Just spoon it through with your hands, those little edges, and voila. Sherry is good to go.